dairy, an issue that could curdle NAFTA renegotiations. The U.S. is pushing for freer trade of agricultural exports, which could include Canada's dairy industry. Canada has one of the most protected dairy industries in the world, which has been an annoyance for countries like Australia, New Zealand, and the U.S., which also produce dairy and ideally would like to trade with Canadians. But we've made it tricky. Canada uses a supply management system that dates back to the 1970s. This system controls the price of dairy products, how much is made via quotas for local farmers, and keeps foreign taxes high to limit outside suppliers. If you're an international dairy farmer and you want to ship milk products to Canada, the tariffs can run up to 270%. Each province has a board that monitors supply and demand to ensure farmers' quotas meet the demand. This is meant to guarantee that the dairy industry is propped up in Canada. This is a problem for the U.S., which regularly has a surplus of milk. For a while, the U.S. had a way in through ultra-filtered milk, which is used to produce cheese and yogurt. It wasn't originally included in Canada's dairy regulation because the process to filter milk didn't exist at the time. But recently, the Canadian government introduced new incentives for companies to purchase ultra-filtered milk domestically instead. So U.S. dairy farmers lost their one piece of Canada's dairy trade. It is a major issue for milk-producing Wisconsin, a state Donald Trump narrowly won in the 2016 election. Meanwhile, Trudeau has insisted that Canada is not to blame for America's dairy woes and will stand by supply management.